just like the Mormons, which calls themselves the Church of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter Day Saints, has infiltrated the Chosen. And everybody thinks that the Chosen is biblical, and it's not at all. Well, they've infiltrated. They've infiltrated this platform. Just listen when you do a a search for a Bible verse. Bible verse for unto us a child is born. According to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You hear that? Anytime I do a search for a Bible verse, it's promoted by the Mormons, who, if you know about their theology, they they don't believe in the Blessed Trinity, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They believe in Joseph Prince, I think his name is, a prophet. They hold that book very dear and near to them. It's as sacred as the scriptures are. Just like the Jehovah's Witnesses have their uh, watchtower. They ascribe to the watchtower. The Mormons, or the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints, which sounds so nice, doesn't it? It gets better. Mormons claim that God the Father was once a man. And that he then progressed to godhood. That That is, he's now exalted an immortal man with a flesh and bone body. Again, they believe in polytheism. That the Trinity consists not of three persons and one God, but rather of three distinct gods. According to Mormonism, there are potentially many thousands of gods besides these. They also believe that humans like God the Father can go <laughs> through a process of exaltation to to uh, to Godhood. Mormons believe that Jesus Christ was the firstborn spirit child of the Heavenly Father and a Heavenly Mother. They also believe that most people will end up in one of three kingdoms of glory depending on one's level of faithfulness. Belief in Christ or even in God is not necessary to obtain immortality in one of these three kingdoms, and therefore only the most spiritually perverse will go to hell. Mormons believe that Adam's transgression was a noble act that made it possible for humans to become mortal, which is, according to them, a necessary step on the path to exaltation to godhood. Mormons also believe that God gives to virtually everyone a general salvation to a mortal life in one of the heavenly kingdoms which is how they understand salvation by grace. Believe in Christ is necessary only to obtain passage to the highest celestial kingdom for which not only faith but participation in Mormon temple rituals and obedience to its laws of the gospel are also prerequisites. Very similar to the Jehovah's Witnesses, right? But there's a lot more money and power in them, and that's why they control Pretty much the series The Chosen, which when I first saw it, I was like, wait a minute, Mary Magdalene, nobody cast out, the Pharisees, didn't, Pharisees did not cast out demons out of her, that, that, that's nowhere in my Bible. Guys, deception is thick, 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 just like our Savior and our Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, said it would be in, this, in these end times. So, so put on the full armor of God every day. Proclaim it out loud. Receive it. God bless you all.